Hello, I'm Irma Garza. I am here with our county judge, Ramon Garcia. He just delivered the state of the county uh, for 2012, and we were talking about 2011, what, all the great things that happened, and what's in store. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on a great event. Thank you. And we want to make sure that the community is aware that um, county government is alive and well and fiscally sound. Uh, we were very proud that uh, we have uh, the largest fund balance right now in the history of the county, which is about 158 year history. Uh, and but we're looking forward to doing more than just maintaining good service as we have been and, and, and making sure we properly pay for it. We're looking to the future. We're looking at uh, making sure that we start providing infrastructure for future growth and development that will benefit future generations to come. We're looking at making sure that we properly, uh, properly fund an adequate comprehensive drainage system, one that will enable us to survive a hurricane like the one that occurred with Hurricane Beulah back in the 60s. Right now, if we were to get one of, these, one of those type of hurricanes, you know, we'd, we'd be underwater. Uh, we don't have an adequate drainage system. We, every year we've lucked out. We've, uh, we've been very fortunate that a big hurricane hasn't hit, but we may be running out of luck. We got $38 billion worth of property in our county that needs to be protected. And of course, we got almost a million people whose lives will be dramatically impacted if we have one of those big hurricanes. Uh, so we need to start working on a drainage system. We have put together an advisory committee. They've been meeting for most of the year. It's a 28-member citizen advisory committee that's been listening to testimony from uh, engineers and, uh, and inve uh, finance people. And uh, we're trying to get to a report from them that will enable us to tell us, number one, the need, which everybody understands. Number two, how do we fund it properly? And that's the drainage. The next one is the transportation. We need to address the, some, uh, some of the congestion that's occurring in our county, our traffic congestion. We need to work on our main arteries. Uh, we're working on, a, on uh, what is called the TTC or IBTC. It's a new, uh, a new road system that will be connecting, uh, well, that will allow people to travel throughout our county between east and west. Uh, and uh, and also at the same time be connecting our bridges, the Ansaldúas Bridge, the uh, Hidalgo, the Far, uh, the Dana, the Progreso. All those bridges are, uh, are going to be connected by that new corridor. We're doing that through what is called the Regional Mobility Authority, as well as we're looking at uh, the, and trying to address the congestion that occurs on Expressway 83 and 281 every day between, uh, you know, probably seven and nine and four and six. Uh, that is a problem, it needs to be addressed and uh, we're just gonna have to do it. Uh, and lastly, we're partnering up with the city of Edinburgh. It's a win-win situation for the county of Hidalgo and the city of Edinburgh. We're getting involved with our economic development people. They're helping us address our need that we have a serious need for a new courthouse. Um, that not, the present courthouse was built in 1954, when we had three courts. Well, today we have 24 courts. There is a shortage of approximately 220,000 square feet of space in order to properly accommodate all 24 courts, uh, and uh, we just—it's not adequate. It's not good for security reasons. It's not good for health reasons. It just is an inadequate building that's very costly to maintain. Uh, so we're very fortunate that the city of Edinburgh is interested in spending money to beautify their downtown area, and we're, you know, we're willing to let them spend it on the new courthouse. And now, Judge, you also talked about, um, you know, in the future you are going to be touching on. Um, addressing uh, the need to perhaps give the county employees uh, perhaps a raise. Yes, we you know we all feel badly about the fact that uh, we've been unable to to well to give any pay raises to about 97, 98 percent of our county employees. There have been some that have gotten some raises but uh, frankly they probably be based on a some exceptions to a policy that that, uh, that occurred, but that probably shouldn't have. 
But in any event, uh, you know, we want to make sure we properly address uh, the salary increase this next budget cycle. And then another exciting, and, and I know a taxpayer, you don't want to raise taxes. Whatever we do, you said you don't want to raise taxes. That's correct. We want to make sure we stress that, that we, we are going to become and have become very fiscally responsible. There's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of issues that need to be addressed. Uh, but our goal is to be able to provide all these basic services and look to the future without having to raise any property tax rates. Okay. This is uh, your second time in office as, as our county judge. Um, you know, overall, what are your thoughts? Well, the first time around, we looked at our county was basically broke. When I came in, uh, we had a 707, about a $740,000 fund balance, which is our savings account. Well, that wasn't going to last more than uh, the, to pay for damages after a good rain. So we really were basically in the red. We had to immediately put in place some uh, fiscal policies that we did. And after four years, uh, when I left, uh, our county was in the best financial shape in the history of the county. This time around, we want to start looking at infrastructure for the future. We want to make sure we provide, keep on maintaining good service but we want to make sure we start uh, looking to future generations that are hopefully will be appreciative of what we're doing here today. Which is the legacy that we heard so much about today. That's correct. Okay, so all in all, we're in very good shape. We're in, we're in yes, we are <laughs> in good uh, fiscal shape and uh, hopefully we'll get better. Congratulations and you had a great event. Thank you. Thank you, Judge, and thank you for watching ECN 12.